Hi everyone. Hey, on today's assignment, today's lesson, we're going to work on creating an abstract background such as this by using our pen tool, various strokes, and lots and lots of layers. Uh, for this assignment, you are not to try to recreate this image exactly. What I want you to do is come up with something similar to it, but choose your own color theme and style and get creative and come up with something unique on your own. All right, so let's start with our a new file here. Uh, I'm going to go file, new, and what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a 1080 pixel by 720, uh, 72 pixels per inch, and let's go ahead and work in RGB color, which is for monitors, which is going to give us more vibrant colors than working in CMYK, which is for something that you're going to print. All right, we start with a blank background like this, we just have a white background. And we're going to start with just a solid color in the background. So first, let's go over to our Layers toolbar. We're going to come to the 50-50, and let's just go down to Solid Color. And my preference is always to start with black, but if you want to click around a little bit and try a different color, click up and down this slider. Grab some blue, magenta, we grab some yellow. Oops, move to the corner if you want a vibrant color. I'm just going to go ahead and start with my traditional black. All right, as I said, everything's going to be done with lots of layers. So let's start off with another layer on top of this. And let's see what brush we have in our hand right now. Hit B for brush on my keyboard, and it looks like, well, we got a black brush right there. Let's go and change the color. I'm going to start off with this nice, vibrant green. And we got a super hard brush. Control Z on my keyboard. Let's go and decrease the size. Left bracket, left bracket, left bracket. And come up to our brush slider. and. Turn the hardness all the way down to make it a soft brush. All right, control Z. Let's go a little bit smaller. Left bracket, left bracket, left bracket. All right, let's start with that. All right, so that's the brush I got in my hand right now. I'm going to sw switch over to my pen tool, P on my keyboard. And let's go ahead and I'm going to zoom out a little more. And let's go ahead and create our path. Remember, the fewer anchors you have, click and drag, click and drag click and drag. The fewer anchors you have, the smoother curve you're going to get. All right, from a previous assignment, you know how this goes. Right click, stroke path, we have brush, and simulate pressure is checkmarked. All right, so there's our first brush. Um, let's go ahead and hit enter, and on this layer, when you simulate pr pressure, it starts skinny, gets wider, and goes skinny again. If you only want it to be um, a little bit wider to skinny. I'm going to start on the outside of my canvas. I'm going to click and drag, and again, this part doesn't matter. Click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. All right, right click, and stroke path, enter on my keyboard, and there we go. We're going to start creating these little abstract swirls. All right, enter on my keyboard. I'm going to I go back to my brush. And let's work on different variations. Let's go ahead and make like a little bit of a wider brush. So let's go right bracket, right bracket, right bracket. Go back to my pen tool P. And let's create another swirl here. Click and drag. Click and drag. Click and drag. Right click. Stroke path. OK. And there we go. Now that we had a thicker brush in our hand, we kind of have this wide one. All right. So that's a little bit of a start there. Let's go ahead and switch over to... Let's create another layer here. Um, actually, on this layer one, before I forget, let's double click. And I'm going to call this green one. Enter. All right, let's add a new layer. And I'm going to call this double click. Let's rename it first. White one. Enter. Go back to my brush. B for brush. Switch to white. And that's kind of a real big white brush. Control Z. Let's decrease size, left bracket, left bracket, left bracket, left bracket. All right, control Z, back to your pen tool, P, and let's click and drag, click and drag. Now remember, the thing about using lots of layers is if you don't like something, you just go ahead and turn it off and it goes away. Right click, stroke path, brush, simulate pressure, enter. All right. Uh, how about we come up from this side now? Let's go click and drag, click and drag, click and drag, click and drag, right click, stroke path, enter, and there we go. 
And how about we cross one down here that comes from this side? I'm just going to kind of do something. And remember, this is this is assignment. It's going to be all about experimenting with different brushes, different paths, different strokes. Right click, stroke path, enter. All right. So let's start with another thing, though. Now we got these on separate layers. I've got a green layer and a white layer. Once you should have probably anywhere from, let's say, five to ten different layers minimum, different colors, different sizes. Um, let's go ahead and work with our layers toolbar and play with the opacity a little bit. So let's say we like this green layer. Let me swap over to it. But you want to tone it down a little bit. We could just lower the opacity just a tad. Set 100% opacity. I'm going to drop it down about 42. And you can make quite a few adjustments by all these different layers. Darken it up, brighten it, and so forth. Let's switch to our white layer, and we can do the same thing also. Reduce the opacity, which gives it kind of a cool effect. Let's do one more white layer. Let's go add a new layer. I'm going to double click where it says layer 1. Let's call it white 2. And I'm going to go ahead and um, let's go with some, let's go with a large brush. Let's try that. So B for brush. Let's increase the size. We'll make that pretty big. Go to my pen tool and how about we just have, there we go, how about something like that, right click, nope, sorry, right click, stroke path, okay, there we go, yeah, that looks kind of cool, hit enter on your keyboard for the path to go away, how about one more coming from this side, click and drag, click and drag right here, um, if you want, you could come and, um, Hold the control key and move the anchor. Right click, stroke path, enter. All right, and hit enter on your keyboard. All right, so let's see what we could do with this though. So I kind of like that nice bright white, but let's also, I encourage you to play around with layer blending mode. And the way I like to do it is click on the drop down for normal, click on the wor nor word normal one more time. And then when it's highlighted in blue, you could use the down arrow on your keyboard to scroll through these little different layer blending modes to kind of come up with some cool effects. Um, there's color dodge, linear dodge, lighter color, overlay. Kind of just gives it a nice little effect in there. Once you get more and more layers, you'll see the see the power of playing with layer blending mode. Okay, bringing in some purples in there by using difference blending mode. Subtract kind of takes it away. And you know, I think I'm just, for this layer, I'm going to go all the way back up to the top. And let's just leave it at normal color, but maybe just tone the opacity down a little bit. All right, so there's a start to our abstract assignment. Let's go ahead and look at uh, some other assignment, other, other options here. Let's look at some things that you can do here. Um, again, like I said, I want you to come up with your own colors, your own style, whatever you like. It doesn't have to be exactly like the one I've shown, and please don't copy that one or even try to recreate one of these. But I'm going to go over some techniques to get some of these, these other options in here. Once you, uh, you could throw some layer masks on your layers too to kind of create some of these effects. All right, so abstract background assignment using the pen tool and various brushes, video number one. Thanks for listening.